Hey y'all, Chris Funk here. Welcome to my kitchen. I know there's a lot of folks out there that like to catch, photograph, and release. Well, obviously, standing in a kitchen, something didn't get to release this time. Or at least it's going to be what we call the grease release. Now, I do like to put a lot of fish back. But on species that are real prolific, like crappy, spotted bass, things like that, I do not mind taking my fair share. My family likes to have a good mess of fried fish, and today I'm going to show you our favorite recipe. It's a citrus panko encrusted crappy filet. Y'all stay tuned. All right, now this will work on just about any kind of fish. You know, crappy is one of our favorites because we end up in the springtime with a pretty good run. So we'll stock up the freezer at that time, and that's one of our favorites to eat. Another one's a small spotted bass. I don't like to keep anything over about a pound, but those little ones, I call them McDonald's bass. They're quarter pounders. They are one fine eating critter. So any type of a fish that you want to use for this, you know, that's a real good white meat fish, this will be a good recipe for it. You're going to need a couple eggs, some regular flour, oil for frying, panko breadcrumbs. Now this is the kick. This is what gives it the crunch. You want this. And we like a couple different kinds of citrus mixes. Our favorite is probably this Mojo Mama. It's a, a, a really good Mojo season. It's not too salty. It's got a lot of citrus flavor to it. Our other flavor, favorite comes from Weber and it's a zesty lemon. This is really good. And of course, if you're in the Funk household, we use a lot of Tony Sachery, so have this handy too. All right, the eggs are just going to be used as an egg wash. I've already added a little bit of water in here. You can use milk if you want. Water works fine for us. This mixed with the flour is going to be the glue that holds that panko breadcrumb breading on there. All right, you want to sprinkle your fillets with your Cajun shake just a little bit. We don't put a whole lot on there because this stuff can get pretty salty. This is just for a little bit of a kick. The main star of the recipe is going to be the citrus seasoning anyway. Put a good dose of that Mojo Mama on there. All right, now working from the fish cross, We've got the fish, we've got our flour, we've got our egg wash, and then we've got the panko breadcrumbs. And you can see the panko is extremely dry, very, very crispy. This, this is what makes the magic in this recipe. You want to go ahead and flour the fish. It's just a light dredging. You don't need a whole lot. Like I said, this mixed with the egg wash is going to be the glue that makes everything work. I've already got the oil and the skillet going. It's about half inch deep. This is not a deep fry. This is more of a pan fry. So you don't need to, to immerse the whole filet in it. You're going to flip these halfway through. Just make sure you give them plenty of room. Now, dunking that in that egg wash. Then coming back over here in the panko. And you can see how it sticks. I'm telling you, that right there is fit to eat. And I like to work one skillet full at a time. Like I said, you do not want to crowd this. If you crowd it, it won't crisp up as well. Give it a little bit of room to breathe while you're frying it, and it'll work out good for you. All right, now once you've come up to about 325 or so, take your fillets and just ease them on in there. Like I said, you want to give them a little bit of room. If they're touching anywhere, that's the spot that won't be crunchy. As long as you've got areas around the side for that grease to get around and get on them, that right there is going to be what we need to have. All right, you see by the edges, this is starting to brown pretty good. That lets you know that they are ready to flip. Oh, goodness, if y'all could smell that. It doesn't take too long once that one side gets done. Just flip it over, brown the other side, and then pull it off. It's on. All right, All right y'all, just got the last batch off. It's time to start eating. Now, I'm not an expert at cooking, but you can tell I'm pretty good at eating. It's been said that my belt ain't nothing but a fence around a graveyard for fried critters. I don't know that I'd fight about that either. This is some awesome stuff. Hope y'all like it. Come back next time. I'll teach y'all how to make our favorite kind of taters that we like to eat along with it. Get you some.